Hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about spread operator that is three dots. The spread operator is used in the function call and it will expand any iterable object into the list of arguments. So I think it makes sense to go with some example and that will definitely help you to understand the spread operator very clearly. Spread operator is a very important operator and it will help your JavaScript programming easier. So understanding the spread operator is super important. So let's jump into some example. The spread operator was introduced in ES6 and the syntax is exactly similar like the rest operator. So there, there is a separate video on the rest operator where I'm covering uh, the difference between the spread operator and the rest operator. Let's say I have an array countries, which is having only two countries as of now, which is Canada and India. And I would like to use a spread operator to create my final countries, which starts with Switzerland, followed by this spread operator and then Singapore and Australia. So now if I print both the array, both the arrays, and if I do a print, my original country is like Canada and India, and my final country starts with Switzerland, followed by Canada, India, and Singapore and Australia. This Canada and India is coming from my original array. Now here I've used a spread operator, which is this three dots. And what this operator is doing, it is actually spreading out the content of this array and then adding them as individual element to the final array. I can, let, let me give you a uh, quick uh, difference. Like if I don't use a spread operator and just use the countries, and this time if I execute, I can see that it's, it's still a new array, but this time the entire array is added to this array. So it's basically an array inside an array. But the spread operator, it will not do that. It will, it will, what it will do, it will spread out the content of the original array as an individual element and then, and then add that uh, to your final destination or to the final array like this. So that's one example. Okay, so the next example which I want to discuss here is how we can use the spread operator to pass elements of an array as arguments to a function. To a function. So here I have a function called do sum and it's taking three parameters x, y, and z, and it is returning you x plus y and z, basically the summation of all the three parameters. Now here I have the array, which is having three parameters, three elements, 100, 2, and 300, and then I'm calling the do some method, uh, then I'm calling the do some method, passing the elements of this array using the spread operator like three, these three dots. Okay, so now if I execute, I am getting the summation as 402. So now if I add more elements to this array, let's say 500 and 600 and still execute, I'm still getting 402. So what it's doing, it's taking the first three elements because the, the method is taking only three parameters and fourth and fifth elements will be ignored. So this is the way how you can pass the elements of an array as arguments to a function. So the example that I would like to cover now, how you can use a spread operator to copy elements of an array to a new array. So here I have my first array, which is numbers one and which is having three elements, 100, 200, and 300. Now I'm copying the these three elements to a new array called numbers two. And I'm using the spread operator, as you can see here, three dots followed by the name of the first array. And then on my second array, I'm adding a new element called 400. Now in here, I'm, I'm printing both the arrays like the numbers one and numbers two. So now if I execute, the first time I'm getting 100, 200, 300, that's my first array. And in the second one, I'm getting 400 added because that's my second array. So this is the way how you can copy elements uh, from one array to, the, uh, to another array. This time, I would like to show you how you can add the spread operator to concatenates to array two arrays. So here, this is my first array, which is having three elements, 100, 200, and 300. And this is my second array, which is having three elements. Now I would like to add numbers one and numbers two and put them in numbers three. So here I'm adding the spread operator followed by the name of the first array. Again, the spread operator followed by the name of the second array. And here I'm, I'm printing uh, all the three arrays. So now if I execute first array, very 
clear second array again very clear and a third array which is basically a concatenation or concatenation of the first and the second i'm getting 100 200 300 400 500 and 600 you can do all the things let's say you want to add uh, some item let's say 350 and 375 that also you can do and this time if i print uh, so this is the first array then followed by 350 and 375 and then this is my second array so this is the way how we can use a spare operator to concatenate two arrays so in this example i would like to show you how you can create copies of an object with some updated values by using the spare operator so here i have a object called employee which is having two parameters or two elements like the name and the age and the name is a test name and age is zero so if we consider this as a template i can copy the template and create my all employees so let's say i'm creating an employee called james and uh, you know, i'm using the three parameters three dotted parameter uh, So now I can use this template and I can create a new uh, copy of this object. So here, James is a new copy. James is an object. And here I'm using the spread operator to copy all the elements from the, this object called employee. But I'm overwriting the name with James Jones, age, at th age equals to 35. And I'm adding a new uh, property, which is called country, and that is Canada. So now if I execute, I can see that this is what James is all about. James is having the name of James Jones, age 35 and country as Canada. And I can keep on creating multiple ones. So this time, let's say uh, Robert. So here, let's say Robert Kelly. And age is 32 and let's say singapore and if i print robert now and print i can see that robert is this value so this is the way how we can use the spread operator to copy the object and then update the values so if i don't pass the age the age will be zero let's see if i don't pass the age then I can see the James Jones age is zero. So if you pass the value, the value will be overridden. And uh, after copying the elements from after copying the elements from the object, but if you don't pass, then original value will be retained. So this is the way how we can create copies of an object with updated values. Now in this example, I'd like to show you how you can use a spread operator while doing the object destructuring. So this is the this is the object or template that I have, like the employee and employee name and employee age. These are the two properties within this object. Now here I'm using the spread operator to copy the template and then provide some updated values. Like for James, the employee name is James Jones, age is 35 and country is Canada. So now if I just you know quickly uh, comment out this portion of the code and execute, I can see this is what my James is all about. Now let's say, I would like to do an object destructuring and store the individual property of gems and store it in different values. So here is my gems and I'd like to store the first name or gems name in the employee name, age in employee age and whatever the rest of the property this gems can have, everything will be stored in employee other info. And this is the time when I can use the spread operator which will take care of storing all the other information within this object. So now if I print employee name, employee age and employee other. So if I execute the code right now, I can see my employee name is James Jones, employee age is 35 and rest everything is stored in this uh, object where the only element, only uh, property left is the country. So now if I don't want to store employee age and then still use a uh, spread operator, then this object will not only store the country, it will store the employee age as well. So now if I execute, I can see my employee name is this and this employee other object, which is having two elements right now, or two properties, which is employee age and country. So this is the way how we can use a spread operator during the object destructuring as well.
I hope you like this video. So if you like this video, please share and hit the like icon. And also please subscribe to my channel to get update about all my upcoming videos. Till then, thank you and bye-bye.